Hi gang, Scott here. This video is about color enhancement in On One Effects, and my go-to filter to do color work in effects is the color adjustment filter. This is the one that gives you the individual control over all of your color ranges for hue, saturation, luminance. I've done a video on this filter and in fact a video on every filter in effects. It's a playlist. I'll put a link in the show notes and the pop-up here on the screen. You can go check out all the stuff about the the color adjustment filter and all the other filters and effects for that matter. But uh, you know uh, I got a question from someone through email saying you know yeah that that filter is cool but I want to do some kind of desaturation to all of the colors in a selective area, right? With a, involving a mask, but I, I don't want to desaturate just parts of the, the, the color ranges. And using the color adjustment filter is cumbersome, and that's absolutely true. What I want to show you here is a couple of different approaches to doing this selective desaturation uh, over a large area of a mask across the board. And uh, first let me show you why it's cumbersome in the color adjustment filter. So in this photo I want to accentuate this red leaf and there's quite a bit of green in the background. There's a, It's a good color combination, it's a good color palette, but let's say the background's uh, too distracting. I really want more attention paid to the leaf here. Well if I wanted to desaturate the background and I choose the color adjustment, well I get all of my color channels here, right, every one of them, and I can do a desaturation on all of them, but I've got to go visit each one and uh, let's first get my mask in place. I have a mask on my clipboard for the leaves themselves. I pasted that in. I will invert it. So now it's affecting the background. Great. Okay. And now I can desaturate, right? I can desaturate the reds. I can desaturate the oranges. And you can see the effect building up in the background where this mask is applying. But this is cumbersome, right? This is annoying. And I'm not, I'm, I'm just doing rapid clicks here. I may not be getting the same value of desaturation. Uh, so, you know, if you want to do more selective desaturation, this is great. This is the tool to work in. But if you want something more uniform and, you know, quite honestly, less cumbersome than eight individual clicks onto color channels and then eight individual clicks onto a saturation slider and hope you click in the right spot to get everything uniform, uh, there are two different ways to do it. Uh, I'll show you one way with an older filter. Let's get rid of the color adjustment. We can add the color enhancer. And this filter has got a lot of different controls, but it has some global, well, not, not quite global, global in the sense of all color channels for saturation, all color channels for vibrance, but we still have masks. We can put that mask on there, right? Paste my mask um, from my clipboard. I'll invert it so I'm affecting the background and not the leaves. And then I have this saturation slider. One click and now that background is getting completely desaturated. We can do a full on, you know, selective coloring kind of thing, which is showing a little bit of the edges of my leaves might need a little work on my mask, but you get the idea here. We can do this uh, in this fashion. It is one more way we could use the color enhancer. I tend not to reach for that filter much anymore because I have these same controls, temperature and saturation and vibrance in local adjustments. And since I do end up going into the locals often, that's where I tend to do this work. So that's the second way we can do this. In the locals tab, we have local adjustments and we've got our exposure, we've got our structure, and we have that same color stuff, right? Works the same exact way. Let me paste that mask in. I will invert it. And the default here is a, a darkening of everything. So that's why we see everything getting very dark. Limit that to, or, or double click on that to go back to nominal. And then down to my saturation slider, I have that same level of control. So there, it's really whichever way you prefer to work. If you stay in effects all the time, you're not going over to locals, grab the color enhancer. You can do those large scale desaturations or warming or cooling, you know, the, anything that those, uh, those filters offer with your mask and not have to go through all the clicks through uh, each individual color channel in something like the color adjustment filter or 
use the locals, same idea, saturation slider is there, and you are off to the races. So uh, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you've got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.